Number one. The Atia Climena or the 88 butterfly is one incredibly amazing species of butterfly. On the underside it has markings that resemble the number 88. But the upper side is gloriously black and blue. It is so incredibly beautiful. This butterfly is famous for landing on people in the wild. Whereas other butterfly species are incredibly shy, for some reason this butterfly is not afraid of landing on people. Some people think it brings good luck if it lands on you. It is found from Mexico to Peru and Brazil and it prefers tropical rainforest environments. I encountered this beauty several times in Brazil. Wow! I had a close encounter with the butterfly Reitus periander. Now isn't that just fantastic? These butterflies are very shy and it is super rare for them to allow somebody to pick them up. This species is also known as the Blue Doctor or the Periander Metal Mark. It is found in most of Central and South America ranging from Mexico to Brazil and Argentina in tropical forests. They are very shy so the fact this butterfly allowed me to pick him up is a rare treat. Yeah, you may call me the Butterfly Whisperer. The three-tailed swallowtail is amazing. This is Papilio pilumnus. It is in very rare cases found in the southern United States, but it is more common in Mexico and Guatemala. It's no surprise they are called a three-tailed swallowtail because their hind wings have three separate tails that make them look incredibly beautiful. They are very shy animals, so getting this close to them is definitely a blessing. That is why I decided to become an entomologist that promotes the conservation of butterflies and moths. And that explains why I have so much butterfly footage by the way. Yeah, I film all these animals myself when I work with insects. The Imperial, imperial Hair Streak is an incredible species from South America. Arcas imperialis is a brilliant green species of butterfly with long hindwing tails. It is found from Southeast Brazil and Argentina all the way up to Mexico. They spend most of the time in the treetops, but sometimes they come down to the understory layer to cool down in the shade if it gets too hot. And it is during these moments that it can be observed by people. I was lucky to find it. Whoo! Such an amazing, beautiful butterfly. Whee! Bart! Why are you holding the butterfly like that? You're going to hurt it! Nah, don't worry guys. I have experience handling butterflies. Handling like it like this is the only way to show the blue color, because this species rarely opens its blue wings. It is the butterfly Morpho main allows. Secondly, I'm an entomologist that works with butterflies and moths, so we know what we are doing on this channel, we don't hurt them. This species here is Morpho main allows, the main allows blue Morpho, and it is found from Mexico all the way to down to southeast Brazil. They like tropical rainforest environments and tend to hang out in the woods, especially around the canopy, although sometimes they come to the floor to have a drink from rotting fruit or mineral rich water. Number 5. Wow, the ably named Emerald Swallowtail Papilio palinurus, and it is native to Southeast Asia. And this amazing butterfly species is bright, shiny and green. That's just fantastic, isn't it? Whew. The vibrant colors on this beauty are just out of this world. Honestly, they are better than real emeralds. Butterflies are the treasures of nature and we should do our best to conserve them. Despite humanity's efforts to pollute and destroy the environment, I would not want to live in a world where we lose these animals, where our children or grandchildren would miss out on seeing them. This is the Chinese peacock swallowtail. It is found in India, Japan, China and Taiwan. The colors of this species are just incredible, Woohoo! like it was sprinkled with gemstone dust. This is a good moment to think about the fact that butterflies are declining worldwide. And the causes of decline of butterflies are thought to be similar in most countries, which are mainly habitat loss and degradation, climate change and chemical pollution. Many species are on the brink of going extinct and if we don't change our lifestyle and how we treat, treat the environment. Wow, this butterfly looks just like a dead leaf. That's crazy. This is the Indian oak leaf butterfly or Kalima inarchus. This crazy beauty is found in tropical Asia from India to Japan. 
With their wings closed, they kind of look just like a dead leaf and blend perfectly into their surroundings. But when they open their wings, they reveal a beautiful metallic orange and blue surface. They also have a distinct dry season form and wet season form to top it off. That's insane if you ask me. They are gentle creatures, although they can be hard to approach because of their skittish nature. Number 2. The Peacock Butterfly. Aglaes Io. Now this wonderful butterfly is common in temperate Europe and Asia. Their larva females stinging nettle, a super common host plant. It is bright red with some hyper-realistic eye spots that it displays in order to scare birds away. That may mistake it for an owl or a fox or any bird of prey. They are amazing creatures. Have you ever seen one of these wonderful butterflies? They are about as colorful as it gets. Ooh. This is my favorite, number one, the Castalia metal mark butterfly. This amazing species is sparkly green and this species is confined to primary rainforest at altitudes between 100 to 800 meters above sea level. Their host plant in the rainforest is nettle tree or calthis. Now the adults probably spend much of their time in the canopy, but sometimes they come down to the ground to sip water or to drink minerals from the floor. What a fantastic creature. It is found in South America, in a tropical rainforest. Absolutely beautiful. <sighs> Butterflies and me, I've always had a special friendship. I don't know how, but we just do. Therefore, I decided to make a YouTube channel that is dedicated to biology of butterflies and moths. All the butterflies that you see in this video, I have filmed myself. That's right, it's all my own original footage. I travel the world to study and document them. And with your support, I can film more butterfly species.